still have more than three quarters of a million. I'm still good. I'm still good. I'm still good. Aren't I? Alright, I do need uh, one more healing good potion. Good. And then we can head back and now it's actually time to take on Bale. And I'm scared. Damn, am I scared. Yes. I had to go down Deckard Kane anyway, so why did I avoid that? Alright, come on, Al Hazir. We can do this. Bale, I am ready for you! I am ready. You wanna go? You wanna go? I can't I can't target him right now. Oh, uh, no, he runs off. Kill Bale. Follow him into the World Stone Chamber. Alright. The World Stone. Praise the light. Don't worry about those. Don't worry about those. Take on Bale. Just just go for Bale. Avoid avoid his attacks if you can. And yes, uh, he has many attacks, all of which are very douche-ish. And there goes Al Hazir. He does make copies of himself. That's that's not fun, but I'm trying to keep an eye on the real one. Uh, the one that you do a lot of damage to probably isn't the real one, to be to, to, to be honest with you. There's the real one. Let's heal again. Damn it, Bale. I want to do this without running from you. I want to be able to do this without running. And it looks like I have a shot here. Go, blessed hammers of victory. I'm, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I don't need to run from you, Bale. I don't need to run, and I have done it. Die. Die for me, yes, puke out your guts, Bale. The hell is all that? Bale, you shall no longer taint this mortal realm. Greetings. Whoa, hey, Teriel, how you doing? All done, I got some stuff to pick up. Can it, can it wait, Teriel? Wait just a second. I can't carry anything. Yes, you can. Yes, you fucking can. I don't think any of that's gonna be that good, though. El Hizir didn't make it. Quest completed. And that is it. We have completed all the quests for Diablo 2. Yes, Teriel. Have I done good? Have I done well for you? I am impressed, Mortar. You have overcome the greatest challenge this world has ever faced and defeated the last of the prime evils. However, we are too late to save the world stone. Bale's destructive touch has corrupted it completely. Given enough time, the world stone's energies will drain away and the barriers between the worlds will shatter. The powers of hell will flood into this sanctuary and eradicate your people and everything you've labored to build. Therefore, I must destroy the corrupted world stone before the powers of hell take root. This act will change your world forever, with consequences even I cannot foresee. However, it is the only way to ensure mankind's survival. Go now, mortal. I have opened a portal that will lead you to safety. May the eternal light shine upon you and your descendants for what you've done this day. The continued survival of mankind is your legacy. Above all else, you have earned a rest from this endless battle. Yes, yes I have. And here's the portal to Destruction's End, which is actually the name of the full motion video. However, I just want to, to verify for any of those you know, that, that were curious. There is gold around the outside here. Uh, there's not that much of it, though. Not nearly as much as you would hope. Um, I mean, there's, what, like maybe 5,000 total? Uh, whatever you picked up is always better than that. Uh, we, of course, are not done here. 
Uh, I do have one more thing that I want to do, which is the bonus dungeon that I've been talking about up and down. That's why I kept Ward's leg all this time. Uh, so I hope you guys do uh, join me for that. Shouldn't be shouldn't be too long. Uh, I'm definitely over leveled for it. The leveling in the, the bonus dungeon is very bad. Nothing nearly as tough as Bale. Luckily, I was able to get a good fight with Bale. Bale for you. I did make that look a lot easier than it than it usually is for me. But I did pretty damn good against him. Alright, with that said, Tyrael has to destroy the world stone. How this is going to change the world, we don't know. We don't know. But it must be done. It's just it just must be done. Before defeating him, we have become Slayer, Baller Scuba. I don't know if you guys caught that. But I am now Slayer, Baller Scuba. Alright, let's take him with us. We need to start another normal campaign. We need to go... Well, okay, not Haragath. No, that is not what I'm looking for at all. Oh, people have things to say to me. Of course they do. I defeated Bale. What do you have to say about this? The ancients themselves will envy our songs about you. Please, don't forget about us. Farewell, my friend. Farewell. Repair my shit. I don't need to repair my shit. Nice. Apparently I did pretty damn good. Let's open up the mini-map again. You have to do that every time you load up the game. I don't know why. I don't know why. Good morning. You have done the impossible, hero. Your defeat of the last of the three prime evils is a great victory for the light. Strange that you say that the world stone must be destroyed. The prophecies said nothing about that. Perhaps all we have fought for will be lost. Or perhaps we'll never need fight again. Right. Technically you're supposed to talk to these people before they uh before you destroy the world stone, go through that portal for destruction's end. But it seems so anticlimactic to do that, so I just never do. Good day. Oh, he doesn't have anything to say, apparently. Just identify my items. Thank you, Deckard Kane. What's up, Carl Keck? The destruction of the World Stone does not bode well for our world, but I'll try not to worry. After all, we have warriors like you fighting for us and for the light. Farewell. Farewell, yes, of course. Give me my mercenary back. And then we can talk to Mala, sell all our stuff to her. If Tyrael says the World Stone must be destroyed, then it must. We cannot let Bale's corruption prevail. The world will change, true. 
But who is to say it isn't for the better? She does have a point there. Does have a point. Nobody said it was better or worse. Yeah, this can be sold. Kind of disappointing drops with uh, with Bail. I did get the cold kill hatchet, which is pretty nice. As you can see, it has changed shape there. Um, I mean, it's got some decent damage. Uh, plus 15% to co maximum cold resist is very nice. That means that in uh, normal mode, you can get up to 90 cold resist. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just, you know, especially with the 40 cold damage, but... I would rather have the, the bonus to concentration and all that kind of stuff. Oh, we might as well just fill up here. Um, I only need to use one bar. Never even... Uh, one bar of healing potions. Never got to use any of my full rejuvenation potions. Uh, for Bale, at least. Uh, 33... Nope, that one's better. I don't care if it re repairs durability. I really don't. I don't mind selling it. Or, well, buying repairs. I don't I don't need it to, to do it automatically. And then uh I think we are done afternoon. with everything here in Haragith. So there's just one more place to go. One more place. And that's back to the rogue encampment. You can only do it here. You can only do it here. Uh I do need to talk to Akara. She Welcome doesn't have anything to say. No. Uh, she, you, yeah, you can reset the, the skill points and all that kind of stuff. I do need to buy the entire tome of Town Portal, and I need to get where it's leg out of there. Out of here. Alright. So, now we can head into... The Secret Cow level. Remember how we blew up every the Moo Moo Farm? Let's head to the Moo Moo Farm. I wonder what kind of enemies we have here. As you can see, the gold drops aren't that great. The drops that we're getting here aren't that great either. And we do have enemies. We have Hell Bovines! These guys are ridiculously easy. There are a ton of them, though. Look at them all die to my hammer. Like, I'm oh, how I love their death cries. Uh, these guys... Uh, yeah started because of a uh, of an April Fool's Day joke. I mean, look at their axes! How do you not love that? It's like, it's a, it's a skull. It's a cow skull. Um, you can come here technically infinite amount of times. Until you kill the boss here. The boss is not tough. You're not going to find anything good here. Uh, anything better than what you already have by this point in the game. But, I mean, yes, remember when we went to Tristram, right? Do you, do you, you guys do remember Tristram? I know it was a long time ago, but you guys remember that, right? And uh, you could click on the cows and th they would explode. This is their revenge! Like, these guys aren't really hurting me, really. Anyway, just a couple blessed hammers. And they all just crumple before me. Oh, the last one lived. Oh, we got a soul room! Nice! So if I do find a two-socketed helm, <laughs> I can now use it so that I can get another upgrade that I'm never going to be using. I don't even know why I'm picking stuff up around here. You're not going to find anything good. But I, I, want, I want to. It's a force I have it by this point. I don't even know where I'm going. It's kind of, it's all random. But I mean, how do, how do you not do the secret cow level in a playthrough of Diablo 2? You've got to. Look at them look at them all die. No. 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 Ah, so much fun. No. So much fun. I have had a lot of fun playing this game. This is going to be the part where I, you know, do like a little review of it. Oh shit! I might actually have to heal here. They do, they do a lot of damage to you. I must admit, but they're not tough to kill. Uh, this game, this is this game is a lot of fun. If you've never played it, I do recommend it. If you start playing Diablo 3, you have fun playing that. Even more, I would recommend to, to come back and play this. 
When people say Diablo, I always think Diablo 2. And this is and this is a damn good game because Really? Okay, whatever. Hey, give me the mask. The mask might actually be good. As you can see, Al is actually taking quite a beating here. This is not supposed to be tough. This is not supposed to be tough. Uh, graphics for its time on the PC were pretty good. Um, I know it's, it's kind of hard to imagine now, but for a long time, PC was, was really far back in, in terms of graphics from what was being released back in the day. Graphics were good. Cutscenes were incredibly good for the time. Uh, story is, is pretty good. It's, it gets a little confusing and vague, and they don't really explain everything that you need to know inside the game. Um, that's that's one of the, the complaints that I do have about it. Uh, no. That things like rune words. Damn, I do need to heal. I didn't think I would. I, I thought I could go through this entire place without healing once, but it, it was not meant to be. Uh, they don't explain everything in game as well as I think they should, both plot and gameplay mechanics. For instance, uh, the rune words, you know, you get a little hint as to as to the rune words, but they don't really tell you uh, rune words, like, at all. They just go, here's, like, three out of four things that you can put into a shield. Put them in the right order, though. You know what I mean? It's... It's weird it, how they how they try to go through some things. And there's a lot of things that you need to, to look up off on your own in order to get done. Ooh, a war hat. Uh, they do have a chance of dropping nightmare level stuff here. Not always that great, though. Not always that great. Um, in terms of uh, how fun it is to the, the battle mechanics, they're they're decent. They're they're not bad. They're I mean. They're not particularly good. They g they are extremely repetitive, and there's even though there's a lot of room for uh, for customization. At the end of the day, you kind of need to go a certain path with your character if you want to maximize damage and be competitive in the higher level difficulty. Um, if you wanna, if you just wanna beat the game once, yeah, you can do whatever the hell you want. But if you wanna, if if you want to, to to beat not only normal difficulty but nightmare and hell, then you need to to know what you're doing uh, before you before you start. Even though there is the the reset skill points and all that kind of stuff, you pretty much need to to know what you're doing from beginning to end. And that's kind of a complaint that I do have. Is that and, and Blizzard does that in all their games really. That you kind of need to know what you're doing in order for the higher level stuff t to work for you. And they don't tell you the higher level um, strategies at all. They're just, they just kind of throw you in and expect you to, to look it up and have people figure it out and tell you online. That, that's just something that is standard across Blizzard games. So this, this game's kind of no exception to that. And that's something that I've never been that big of a fan of. Um, having to go online in order to figure out how to how to complete the game. Uh, there are thing there are so single player games even that, that do the same thing though. So it's not like Blizzard's alone. With that. I'm looking at you, Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, but I've never been a fan of that. You should at least give me a hint as to how to do these things in the game um, so that I should be able to figure it out uh, should I want to uh, but especially rune words you're just you're just completely on your own in terms of best strategy for, for any given character you you're really on your own as well there um, All right, should be able to pick up the mace and put it in the cube but in terms of voice acting, I think this is actually pretty damn good. Especially for the time that it came out. Voice acting was not big when this game came out. At all. And for them to not only put any voice acting, uh, but voice acting for every, pretty much every line of dialogue um, outside of the books uh, that you read. Uh, we found him! 
Where is he? The Count King. He's Cow King. He's immune to lightning. He's gonna die pretty damn fast. Uh, he is lightning enchanted. And down he goes, and he dropped a wolf head. He dropped a fucking wolf head. None of this is gonna be good for me. None of that is good for me, unfortunately. So, fortunately, I can't come back here uh, at, because I have killed the cow king. He's usually not in the middle, though. I've usually found that he's around the outside. Uh, but, yeah, wherever you find him, you find him. There's a door here. There's no door here. Oh, I guess this is considered like a row encampment door. But the, uh, the game is very good, like I've been saying, up and down. Uh, probably if I was going to give it a scale, probably be 9 out of 10. You know, 9, 9 and a half. It's a damn good game. Nope. It does it, it does get repetitive. That's the only thing that I really find a, a flaw with it. But when it comes to PC RPGs uh, of this era, that's, that's standard. That's standard. So it's hard to hold this one accountable for it. Uh, but it does kind of lower the replay value a bit um, when it comes to trying to go through this all again and at the end of the day just click 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 drink a potion click 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 it does get a little repetitive and that is something that they have noticed and they are working on in, in Diablo 3 and I can see that uh, so uh, what else is there? The music! I always forget about music. And that's completely my my prejudice, I guess, because I'm not musically gifted at all. I can't do... I can't play music. I can't do anything like that. Uh, there are a ton of cows here, by the way. I don't know if you've noticed that yet, but there are so many cows. We've got cows, but... Um, the music is good. I mean... All Blizzard games have good music. It's it's good. It's not great. It's not something that you're gonna go back and say this was this was fantastic. Where can I find the uh, where can I find the soundtrack? You know what I mean. But it's good. It's good. You know what? We can get rid of that. I'm not gonna be using that. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll take a look at some of these things. What do I got? Fire resist. Anything on the ring? Damage reduced by one. Like I said, you're not bound to find great things here. I would not recommend this place for for looting um, if you're at this point in the game. If you have, What happens a lot is you go online and you'll see cow level runs and um, if you're at about uh, the end of Act Move. 3 even the end of Act 2 uh, you can join one of these, and whoever has finished the, the, the difficulty can, can guide you through. That's typically how it works. That's how I did it. So I remember this place being pretty tough. Uh, but going through it at the level when, the, when I actually can set up the portal myself, the game... Uh, I don't know. It's kind of... I don't want to say broken, but like I said, this is not tough. You're not going to find good equipment for yourself here. It just doesn't work that way, unfortunately. And it should, because it's a bonus dungeon. The bonus dungeon, I've always known it as harder uh, than, than the last dungeon that you, that you went through. That's how I was always, uh, always seen to look at it. But unfortunately, in this game, it does not work that way. And I guess I understand that. Wh what else could they bring in that's going to be tougher than Diablo and Mephisto and Bale? They just don't have anything left for you to fight that's going to be that tough but i mean this is all this is all non-canon anyway i doubt it is canon that you go and kill hundreds upon hundreds of cows you know what i mean so why not just uh make the cow king tougher than anything else around or at least give them items that are better than anything else around. And that looks like that. Oh no! Here's another. Here's another group. I thought we were done here. I was wrong though. We got a few more to go through. Uh, I thought uh, that you know at least giving them the items better than what I have. Somewhere in between normal and nightmare level, but unfortunately that was just never going to happen. Great Deckard Kane, he comes with you no matter where you go. He's everywhere and nowhere all at once. Oh. And in terms of what we had, um, 
Yeah, this can be sold now. Is this better than this? It is, but I still want to sell it. Fire resist plus 18. That's actually pretty damn good for that. Um, lizard mask and dexterity and that and that. We d y you can come across some good gems and stuff, but at the end of the day, you're, you're, you're just not going there to, to loot. You know what I mean? Just not going there to loot. So, oh, now I can make a... Uh, oh, I still have stuff in here, don't I? Yeah, none of this is going to be probably anything that I want to, to keep on my person, uh, but I can make a perfect diamond, a perfect uh, amethyst. I still don't have a perfect sapphire, so uh, there goes my idea of getting the, uh, the amulet. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this run-through of Let's Play Diablo 2. That's going to do it for me in single player. I'm going to take at least a week off. Um, try to get my multiplayer character ready. We will be doing multiplayer. Uh, hell difficulty. I'm going to skip Nightmare. We can go over all the differences in particular uh, when we get to Hell, and I'll go over those when we get there. But I hope you guys have enjoyed all these parts. This entire Let's Play so far of Diablo 2. I think I went over that already. Hope you guys laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.